What's the deal, YouTube? This is Sam Mac Boxing TV, and I'm back again with another video to talk some more boxing with my people. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you can stay notified when I drop some more heat on you. Alright, y'all, so I wanted to go ahead and make this video because I kind of been thinking about this for a while and just wanted to kind of you know, speak on it a little bit. You know, just here, you know, it's start of 2021 you know a lot of people starting to release their pound for pound lists and you know, i haven't done my pound for pound list but i've noticed that a lot of different lists that i've been seeing out here you know especially from the mainstream media don't include carissa shields like at all and that's disrespectful because clarissa shields has just as much right to be on the top pound for pound as any other male fighter. Like when you think about it, you take take a look at her resume. Clarissa Shields, she's 10 and 0. She's undefeated as a professional. She's a two-time Olympic gold medalist, back to back. She's a three division unified world champion, unifying world titles at 168 pounds super middleweight. She was the undisputed middleweight champion at 160 pounds and was the unified super worldweight champion at 154 pounds. And now, you know, Clarissa Shields, she's you know, taking a step into the MMA world and she's been training and with Holly Holm and John Jones because she just recently signed with the PFL MMA League. So she's looking to make that crossover. But I just feel like, you know, just personally, boxing don't respect Clarissa Shields. Just women boxing in general doesn't really get that respect. That same respect like women's MMA does. Like, And then you have, you know, a lot of good lady boxers that's out here. You have Clarissa Shields. You have, you know, French on Cruz Desern. You have Tori Nelson. You know, Alicia, Napoleon, Espinosa. Melissa St. Ville, just to name a few. You know, there's a lot of talented women boxers out here. Amanda Serrano, she's seventh division world champion. You know, she doesn't necessarily get her deserved credit either. But just women's boxing as a whole, you know, they don't get that respect. And, you know, just with Clarissa Shields accomplishing as much as she's accomplished in 10 fights. You need to put some damn respect on her name. Like, real deal, Holyfield. Because there's no reason why her accomplishments should not be considered worthy for pound for pound. But because she's a lady, they don't want to give her that damn credit. Which is just really sad because she's worked her ass off to deserve it. Ain't too many undisputed champions in boxing right now. And she happens to be one of them. And has unified three weight classes within 10 fights. Who else has done that? Nobody. Male or female. It don't even matter. See what's going to happen. Boxing. You know, these networks. You know, DAZN and ESPN, Showtime, you know, the PBC. They don't showcase the women like that. DAZN is really the only network that I've seen promote women's boxing more on a regular basis in Showtime. But other than that, you don't really see too many lady boxers out here like on TV getting that that exposure and getting, you know, put on TV for us to be able to see. And that's not and that's not right. Like they deserve to get the same credit as their male counterparts. Especially with somebody who's accomplished as much as Clarissa Shields has in the sport and they don't want to show her no damn respect. You need to put some respect on the champ's name out here. Real talk. But I want to know what my people think. Leave your comments below. Until next time, this is Sam Mac Boxing TV. Peace.